Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Come to me, personal comedy Jesus. I said yesterday, what did I say? Could you take your organ out for me? When the sky turned orange and Pat Robertson died yesterday, what did I say? <laughs> it is time. It is time for a sign, It God. is time. Yes. Yes, and he gave you a That's sign. Right. Yes, and then Donald Trump was indicted. Oh, and Crackle, Cracker Barrel went woke. And amen. Hi, John. <laughs> yeah, Trump indicted, Pat Robertson dies, and the Supreme Court saves Voting Rights Act on the same day. Right? Suck it, atheists. Suck it, atheists. There's a God. He loves us. He wants us to laugh. We do that with George Santos, an immigrant who's gay and loves Trump. There's a God who wants us to laugh. Oh, my God. Yeah. I completely, well, I mean, I, we talked about it yesterday, but yes, the a completely shocking voting rights thing. We were just like, huh? What is happening? <laughs> Trump has indicted. Yeah. Finally, karma is catching up with the, with Donald Trump. I mean, it is uh, it is a, a thing of beauty, isn't it? This whole week. Remember the beginning of the week when we were all talking about Chris Licht and the Saudis buying golf? Yes. That was like years ago. That was Monday. Now it's Canada smoky, New York choky, Pence hokey. <laughs> Pat Robertson, croaky, Don Jr., cokey, my hair, Loki, Meadows, not jokey, and Trump in the pokey. That's your week. Jack Sir Smith, John Fugel saying, Loki. Sir John Fugel saying, ladies and gentlemen. He summed up the week very, very nicely <laughs> yes. there. He's a poet. Yes. He's, he's the poet laureate of the Stephanie Miller show. Merrick Garland's coming out in a fur coat and bling going, remember me? What a week. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you would, I'd forgotten this. Uh, right Wing Watch tweeted, uh, televangelist Pat Robertson declares Biden will be president and that Trump lives in an alternate reality is very uh, erratic and should not run again in 2024. You've had your day. It's time to move on. And you said Pat Robertson just proved that evolution exists even in people who don't believe in evolution. <laughs> so, even he was not you know, on the on the Trump train. I, I, I did a long tribute to Pat last night on the show, and I, I really tried to find positive things to say about this guy. Um, and the best thing I can say about him was that he was not Jerry Falwell. And he, <laughs> thank God he was not Falwell. But uh, no yeah. one could be as racist as Falwell. And 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 Pat Robertson, look, he, he came out for decriminalizing weed way before Joe Biden. He did. So I'll credit. But, yeah. He did. Yeah. And he could he could bench press. I mean, he could leg press huh? a lot. No, he could. Yeah, yeah, but not as much as he lied. He lied and said he could do 2,000 because he was trying to sell supplements yes. and he got shut down. Like yes. the guy believed nothing. He was a guy <laughs> who had no direction in his life. And then he thought, hey, what about fleecing the rubes? And he bought this TV station Channel down in 27. Virginia where I, I've broadcast from there before. <laughs> yep. He married my cousin, Pat Robertson did. He performed the service. And By once the way. he became a televangelist, it all took off. But yeah. again. By the uh, way, Chris, we know that's ridiculous. Only Field of Greens can make you bench press. 2,000 pounds. Well, yes. Or, We're kidding. Or roundhouse. But it's fantastic. Okay, anyway, John, you said science never made me doubt the existence of God, but there were days when Pat Robertson did. Um, yeah. Yeah. He just, I, sorry, I know we're supposed to go, oh, well, when someone passes. Oh, he no, was just no. a hateful bigot. I mean, he just. Hateful uh, bigot. Yeah. And, and, and the worst kind, because he was a hateful bigot who didn't believe in anything. I don't even think he believed in his bigotry. Yeah. He just knew how to play rubes. Yeah. He knew how to get old people scared of hell to open up their pocketbooks and send you money by attacking who they hate and pretending somehow it's Christian. He is the godfather of everyone in the Republican Congress right now. The false yeah. Christianity that belies a belief in basically nothing. And so, yeah, we can talk about the nice things he did, but come on, man, there was decades of corruption and dishonesty and racism and the treatment of women and Muslims, Hindus. He attacked everybody this guy did. Yeah. Pat Robertson stood for Christians who can't stand what Jesus stood for. Yeah. By the way, you tweeted of your orange air. I've experienced this in Southern California and Las Vegas, but never before in New York City. I understand Fox News says you're a giant. See if you, you know, think there was anything wrong with the air in New York. I think Sean Hannity said he didn't notice it. So, you know. Well, he's had his face stuffed in orange things for a very long <laughs> time. So how could he? <laughs> I got to say, you know, I think, thank you, Jack Smith. Not a day too soon. God, I think, is punishing the skies of New York orange for producing Donald Trump. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you said the only person who wanted to hear from Mike Pence this year is Jack Smith. And he already did it. Um, That's right. There we yeah, go. I I was saying, I, it is just hard to understate the cowardice of Mike Pence. Isn't oh, it? No. He was we one can, of the only ones try. yesterday we that was try. just silent. He's still trying to figure out like what he's supposed to, you know, what he's going to say now, right? I mean, they've all gotten over their skis, John. In terms of they haven't seen the evidence, and they're all, you know, out defending him, right? Except yeah, for you know, yeah. Go ahead. All of them. 
Well, because they all know damn well the Fox News audience is never going to hear the words Espionage Act. So they can probably get away with this for a few months. But we've talked about this for over a year, that these feds would not bring the first ever indictment of a former president unless they had an airtight case. And yeah. baby, they waited. And, you know, it's going to be fun watching Pence try to. No, I take that back. No one cares about Pence. No, Pence's family didn't watch his CNN town hall. I don't need. He's going to look so good in history and it's all Trump's fault. That's the worst thing Trump did was make Mike Pence look like a strong man. He well, had to ask Dan Quayle for help. You're That's his whole campaign slogan. Mike Pence, I'm still alive and I'm not hung. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. You were a liberal helper. You gave him a campaign slogan. Pence 2024 yeah. still standing, still not hung. Not hung. I... <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way, Chris Christie, you said if he thinks he can still be president, I've got a bridge I want to shut down for him. I see what you did there. Um... See, that's comedy. <laughs> Chris Christie is going to make these debates a lot of fun this summer. Yeah. Let's start thanking him already. He he's yeah. let's, Donald Trump didn't destroy Marco Rubio. It was Chris Christie who destroyed Marco Rubio. And again, I don't know what these guys are auditioning for in the presidential loser industrial complex, whether it's a lobbyist job or a cable news gig or a higher public speaking fees. But Chris Christie against Donald Trump will be porn for angels. <laughs> well, and he's actually hitting back against Donald Trump this time. Like pretty hard. Yeah. I mean, and, all uh, and Trump, hopefully, all, hopefully, it can do even just a little bit of damage. And to all Trump. Trump has so far is fat jokes, which is our, right. our job, frankly. Right, but, but he, can, can, but he did a, What did he do? Christie, he did a like put him at a buffet or something in a yeah. fake video. And I mean, that's all he's got. Right. And, and Christie's even calling him out on that and saying he's a child. Right. Like you know, yeah. newsflash. I've been Chris, having a weight problem for twenty, struggling with my weight for twenty years. You know. Of course, but but again, and, and we don't tell Chris Christie fat jokes. You know that. No. We don't do that. No. Nope. He has a great future ahead of him. He can still bounce back. That is not uh -huh. a fat joke. Uh -huh. Chris Christie, he can climb any mountain with yeah. the aid of multiple Sherpas. We yes. don't make fun of him. We no, we do, not. we do not. He, I always, he's not a big fat liar. He's a big boned liar. We yes, don't do that that's here. right. We don't do that here. We do not. <laughs> but can Chris Christie hit Donald Trump hard enough to make 300 million Americans forget Chris Christie's mm -hmm. slavish, reek-like devotion to Donald Trump? Yeah. Because that's his real problem. Right. What, what did Donald Trump do since election 2020, Chris, that tipped you off he might be a bad guy? I know. No, I know. The yeah. whole now a warning caucus. Right. By the way, yeah. uh, you retweeted uh, a couple stats from last week that feel important heading into 24. The U.S. murder rate dropped 12 percent this year, one of the largest drops in history. Border crossing has re have reached the lowest point in three years, despite the end of Title 42. And you just said, tune into Fox to not hear more. Um, <laughs> I mean, we cannot count on any help from the media. Right. I'm sure there are still people, you know, spinning how this neck, this second indictment will be good for Trump. Somehow it'll be bad news for Biden. <laughs> but I mean, I don't I, we're going to get into our third and fourth indictments, John. I mean, we just I don't know, yeah, what but you know what. You know what? When we get to the fourth indictment, the media is going to catch up for an exclusive inside scoop with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. <laughs> oh, hey! God. Yeah. We just caught up with RFK. RFK, <laughs> welcome. The only voice that'll make Biden sound young is in now in the race. And, you know, that's what they're going to do. They're going to look for any excuse. The fact of the matter is we have to get serious about the reality that a lot of billionaires really don't want Joe Biden to be president again. Yeah. And they're all staking different people. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's the chaos. For Ron DeSantis. Yeah. The strongest economic recovery from COVID in the world. Last May, the economy added, what, 340,000 jobs? It does not look like a, a, a recession's going to happen. This is uh, 13 million new jobs in 28 months, yeah. which passes any of his predecessors. No one's done this in two years in presidential history. We have regained all the jobs we lost during the pandemic and created 3 million more jobs. And that's why the media is going to be talking all about the exciting race of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Oh, dear God. Um, John, are you sticking with your prediction that Trump will never go to prison? That, yes. you know, annoys me no end? My prediction is a metaphor because he's already in prison. He's in prison for life. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have been saying it because a lot of people, you know, wake me when there's an indictment. He's never going to blah, blah, blah. And I'm, you know, I have always believed. And we are on two now. We're on two indictments. And I, there yes, uh, we are. apparently will be... I, I, I would assume two more coming, and I, I think justice is finally catching up with him. I think karma, whatever you want to call it, I think. And and so I don't know. I mean, I know we're all scared of that. It's like, you know, is no, he going to no, make no. some Start kind of deal? That, that, Start I mean, enjoying it now. Don't worry about him going to jail. Savor the train wreck now. Reindicted, and it feels so good. Somebody who was saying that, uh, Travis, I can't remember which— um, 
I don't know if it was a legal analyst, but you know, that that could be part of, because again, we are in like, oh, here we go again, unprecedented territory yeah. with a, a former president that, you know, would part of the deal be that he won't run again you know that that's yeah. what the justice department I, I don't know but i i, I don't under, I, I don't think we've ever been here to board to know how that works legally can he trade no, that and go you know but a lot of republicans seem very very certain that donald trump is not going to be the nominee i mean look at how many republicans are jumping into this race seemingly convinced that it's not a problem this time they they seem to know something the rest of us haven't caught on to yet yeah well i think it's hilarious they've all gotten out over their skis on this you know without having seen the evidence yet on tuesday right oh, i know will will kane had a great one this morning yeah uh you know they're again they're all oh well biden took the documents home and hillary had documents and and, and pence had do none of those people were presidents who right. took documents home what does a vice president have steph we've discussed this right. plans to the mall they christened like what kind of top secret documents does a vice president have this is the espionage act and neither trump i'm, I'm sorry neither biden nor pence nor hillary lied and obstructed and uh and hid evidence so no this is wait till the timeline blows up wait till evan corcoran's <laughs> testimony becomes public and we know that trump was lying to his own lawyers about all of yeah. this the what, CNN, in what now, layer what tape. what layer of shadow for delicious is it that um trump strengthened the law on classified information to make it a felony punishable oh, yeah. by five years so because he thought he was going to lock hillary up so i'm just saying that's just another little layer isn't it of just karmic fun i hate when i do that i hate when i do that yeah he he literally he was so convinced that hillary had stolen classified documents he amended the law from a misdemeanor to a felony so she'd get a longer jail sentence. And again, like most Republicans, it was so he could sign a thing and brag and be on Fox News for five minutes. Yeah. Uh, now he's going to be subject to that very law, adding an extra five years to every one of his charges. Somewhere there is a gassed up jet with a cash, yeah. a lot of cash in a suitcase oh and a map to a country with no extradition treaty. That's how this ends with him in a country that he can't. Yay, with a trank gun. I was always hoping for a trank gun. Oh. Okay. <laughs>